Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.1 which is the first big update to iOS 17 since its initial release. Now this update is just around the corner and this is everything that you need to know regarding iOS 17.1 before you go ahead and update your iOS 17 device to this new software. First of all, we're talking about the latest beta which looks like it will actually be the last. It's beta 3 and even though Apple started with a very high build number, it actually has moved pretty fast and now we're in a build number that actually ends with an A, which means that this update is of course the last one to iOS 17.1 before it gets released to the public. Now this is the build number for beta 3, which ends with an A and of course it indicates that this is the last beta. Of course we will have the R version as well before we get the final version of iOS 17.1 released to the public. Now as far as the RC version you can expect it today maybe today or tomorrow these are the two dates when Apple should release the RC version to, of iOS 17.1 of course to testers before they release the final build of iOS 17.1 to the public. Now as far as updating goes, if you're currently on beta 3 of iOS 17.1 and you want to update to the RC version, you will be able to, of course to do that. Simply wait for the release and you will be able to find it right here under the software update. But if you're on the beta 3 and you don't want to install the RC version because once you install it, you won't get the public release even though they're basically the same updates. If you just want to move to the public release, of course, all you have to do is go to the beta updates here and turn them off. Of course, if you're on iOS 17.0.3, all you have to do is just go ahead and update from here once it's released and we're going to talk about the exact release date in a few minutes here but if you don't want to do that manually you can always of course have the automatic updates enabled. Now when it comes to new updates of course we need to know how is battery life because a lot of times when we get a new update battery life might even be worse than the previous one. Now as far as iOS 17.1 goes I didn't get that good of battery life until beta 3 so from the installation of beta 3 until like last few days of course once you install a new software you have to wait for a few a few days maybe two or three to get the best result out of that update but as you can see right here if we take a look at the last few days we have quite good battery life so right here at around 70 percent we have about six hours on screen then right here you can see about 45 percent six hours 23 minutes then right here you can see 40 percent five hours 50 minutes and then here we have around 60 percent battery life 6 hours 23 minutes which is actually really really great so the last few days have actually been quite amazing in terms of battery life and of course you have to keep in mind at what battery health your battery is so mine is of course here on a new device at 100% so of course you can expect to have a bit of better battery life. Now where iOS 17.1 really shines is performance. Performance is great on iOS 17.1. You can see right here the score that I got with Geekbench 6. So the multi-core score is amazing at 7420 and the single core score is also really great at 2949 and when you compare it to this one on iOS 17 the initial release of iOS 17 you can see here a really huge increase on performance on both the single core score and the multi core score as well now when talking about iOS 17.1 this update will feature two really important fixes First of all, the temperature fix that Apple has released for the newer iPhones with iOS 17.0.3. If you didn't install that update when you install iOS 17.1, it will include that fix as well. And another one, you might have seen news that ba basically France is restricting the iPhone 12 due to radiation issues. This update will also fix that and this is of course very closely related to the release date of iOS 17.1 which again we're going to talk about in a minute here once we talk about some of the best new features that you can expect to come with this update. Now first of all if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max you can expect a fix or basically a change to come for the action button. Now a lot of times you might just press the action button while in your pocket and maybe turn on the flashlight or something like that. That won't happen with iOS 17.1 because Apple has made an update which will basically utilize the proximity sensors on your iPhone before 
using the action button which is really great another update is found under haptics so if you have enabled haptics for your device you will notice that apple has actually made some updates and some changes and the haptics now feel different with ios 17.1 another thing here for devices with the dynamic island is the flashlight on the dynamic island now this used to be a feature only for the newer iphones and now if you have any other iphone that has the dynamic island you can expect to get the flashlight flashlight there which is basically like a button and shows you that you have the flashlight turned on if you don't notice it and of course from here you will be able to also turn it off. Apple has made also a very welcome change here for the wallpapers on the lock screen so on the lock screen of your ios 17 device you will be able to actually extend your wallpapers if your wallpaper doesn't actually fit the screen it will be able to expand it but sometimes you might do that by accident and it's really hard to basically bring it to its normal state but now with ios 17.1 you just have the three dots right there and you have extended wallpaper you can see it's checked because the wallpaper has been extended but you will be able to actually just turn it off by tapping here and you can see it will return the wallpaper to its normal state now this right here is very useful for the app store when you go to the app store and you go to the search section you will have to reach for the search bar right there to show the keyboard and start searching apps or games on the app store now with iOS 17.1 once you go here you just tap once more and it goes straight to the search bar and of course it shows you your keyboard so you don't have to reach at the top right there just to search something and we also get some new option for the standby mode on iOS 17.1. So head on to your settings, standby. And when you go to the display here, you can see we have a section turn off turn display off and it basically gives you three different options. You can choose that to happen automatically after exactly 20 seconds or never, which means that while your device on, is on the standby mode, it will be able to stay like that for as long as it's on the standby mode and the screen of course won't turn off now this is for the newer devices that have the full capability of the standby mode and you can choose never to never actually turn off the display of your device while on the standby mode now of course one of the biggest new features of ios 17 in my opinion which hasn't gotten a lot of attention is the ability to airdrop via the internet and now that has been enabled with ios 17.1 and if you go to general here and you go under airdrop you will be able to actually enable use seller data to use your seller data to transfer things over the air via airdrop so if you're just close to someone you're starting an airdrop and then of course you get further away it will be able to actually transfer that file via the internet and now also via your seller data now this right here is one of my favorite new features of the new ios 17.1 you will be able now to set any album to show shuffle photos on the lock screen of your device you know this is a pretty cool feature that will actually change the wallpaper on your lock screen of course the way you use it hourly or maybe on tap or on lock or daily now you can just pick any album that you want and you can set all the photos from that album to be shuffled on the lock screen of your device you can of course choose all of them you can use the album or select photos manually from that same album and the music app has gotten a lot of updates with iOS 17.1. You can now customize your playlist. So if I go to one of my playlists, tap the three dots right there and tap on edit, it will show me all kinds of different like covers that I can use for that playlist. You will now have a favorite button instead of the hard button. You can see it right there. You will be able to favorite and unfavorite the songs that you're playing. You will also be able to actually do that now from the lock screen. So if I'm playing a song here, you can see on the lock screen player i will have that button which allows me to favorite or unfavorite that song from the player on the lock screen so now let's talk about the release date of ios 17.1 you will be able to install this update to your device before october 24th now this has actually been leaked from the french government that issue with the iphone 12s with the radiation should be fixed and it should be fixed before october 24th now this is a report here by cult of mac and you can see right here it says we know that the last possible day that apple will release ios 17.1 will be wednesday october 24th that doesn't mean that it will be released that day that's the deadline for apple to release this update to fix that problem but i'm expecting this to actually come right here on the 20th 23rd most likely that will be the day because usually apple will release bigger updates on a monday so i would expect 
of course october 23rd to be the release date of ios 17.1 to the public so now that we know the release date and everything else regarding this update should you update or not of course you should i believe this is a great update it improves the performance a lot it has a really good battery life in my experience using the last few days of course on beta 3 it looks really really good and of course it will have a few fixes and new features which i think every ios user needs if they are on ios 17. so what's next after this update well i would expect apple to actually release the next beta which will be most likely 17.2 the next week after the release of iOS 17.1. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if they would actually release 17.2 beta 1 the same week as the release to the public of iOS 17.1. That has happened before and it might happen again, but surely in basically in a week from the release of iOS 17.1 to the public, you could expect 17.2 beta 1, which I think will be a way bigger update then i was 17.1 in terms of course of new features and changes you can expect things like the journal app and all that stuff so i would expect this to actually come really really soon and it should be packed with amazing new features and changes so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one